to nightmares and never ends. The holiday season is always about spending time with family, but the family of Lauren DeMolo has been broken for an agonizing three and a half years now. The only thing left, her purse, found at Four Freedoms Park in Cape Coral. Wink News anchor Annette Montgomery talked to Lauren's father about the pain he faces every day. June 19, 2020, the last day anyone saw 29-year-old Lauren DeMolo, a single mother of a little girl. She disappeared from her apartment along Coronado Parkway in Cape Coral, her purse found in Four Freedoms Park. It's been an agonizing three and a half years for Lauren's dad, Paul. If you had to think of one wish this this holiday season, this what what would that be? What would that look like for you and your family? Wake up in the morning and Lauren's there. Oh my mother, yeah. And we're all together. And this was just a bad dream. A nightmare. That's what it is. You know. I'm sorry. It's a nightmare, and it never ends. Never ends. You know, you're not, you're, your child's not supposed to go before you. It's not the right order. When she disappeared, Lauren was dating a man named Gabriel Pena. He called Paul DeMola when he came home the night of the 19th, and Lauren was gone. Pena only spoke once publicly about the case, exclusively to Wink News in July of 2020. I'm worried. I'm worried. I'm scared. I'm not scared because I, I, I didn't do anything, but I just worried that something really did happen. June 21st, 2020, Father's Day, yeah, hit Paul hard because the phone call he treasured did not come. And on Facebook, she would like wish me a happy Father's Day from a favorite daughter, you know? <laughs> and then she would laugh, you know? Because you can't have a favorite. He and his family have now suffered through four Christmases and four New Year's Days not knowing for sure what happened to Lauren. The holidays are probably the worst. For a long time, Paul DeMolo kept in touch with Cape Coral Police, wanted to know the latest on their search, their investigation into what happened. He told me that doesn't happen so much anymore. The last thing I heard from the police was basically, you know, the case is cold. Cold for detectives. Every solid lead looks like it could be the one, and to be let down is punishing. But Lauren's disappearance is burned into Paul's every memory. I still remember her voice, which is a good thing. I'll never forget that because I always play it over again, you know? I never want to forget her voice. Oh, no, you don't. <laughs> the tickle one to thank you. Paul DeMolo's wish for 2024, an answer, an end to his suffering, and maybe an arrest. It's something that no parent should have to deal with and go through. There is no closure. And I said that he's not, there's never gonna, there will never be an end for me until she's either found or I'm dead. After years of posting flyers in windows and organizing searches in the woods and seeing his daughter on the cover of People magazine, Paul now fears he'll never know what happened to Lauren unless someone comes forward with information about her disappearance. If you know anything or might know someone who knows something, call Crime Stoppers at 1 800 780 TIPS. You can remain anonymous. Annette Montgomery, Wink News.